We are stuck. The whole country is in lockdown and we're bored. I get grumpy. You do. Well, you're annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Elena and this is Riley. And this is our home, La Vagabond. <laughs> We've been sailing around the world for the last five years and have recently found ourselves with a stowaway. Meet Lenny. Subscribe and welcome aboard. Morning guys, uh, we are... <laughs> I hate that. We're recording from Lagos, we are stuck, they have closed the bridge, the whole country is in lockdown and we're bored as batshit. <laughs> oh, I can't say bat. <laughs> We're not going to speak about how horrible the situation is. We're just going to make a, a movie to a movie um, saying uh, just what we've been up to. We are here to entertain if you are bored at home, like majority of us. We're locked in a marina right now. All we're allowed to do is go to the supermarket or go out to get medicine. It's a ghost town. We're not even allowed to go swimming at the beach or basically do anything. So we've just been on this leave, boat. Leave. Definitely not leave port. <laughs> we've just been on this boat in a marina for what feels like years. Riley's just gonna go up the mast to check the rigging. Babe, can you see the ocean from up there? No, I can't see much from up here. It's really just the town. I can't hear you, darling. No, hang on. No, there's a middle-aged man walking next to a bin. I think it's a blue bin. It's blue? Oh my god. It's blue, I just miss it so much. Are there any waves? Yeah, I can wave at him. G'day mate. How you going? Big waves, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I need to go further up the mast. Indeed it is vast, my dear. of you would be wondering who who's been floating around in the background with the camera it's Andre he's been helping us out on board for the past few weeks mm -hmm. but you're going home soon unfortunately yes unfortunately so you, you want to continue hanging out on the boat that's not moving yeah really mm -hmm. mm, I doubt it <laughs> thanks for being nice though. Nice of you to say. I found this thread on a sailing and cruising on uh, Facebook. And what do you feel is a sign of poor seamanship? Bouncing halyard lines, sailing over canvas, etc. Leaving fenders out. 
We've done our fair share of fender hanging in the beginning, didn't we? Badly done cleat hitches with massive rope piles on the pontoon. Criticising people for unimportant stuff, such as leaving fenders out. Bang! <laughs> That's the one I like. Okay. Um, a captain speaking with disrespect to the crew. Yeah. I agree. I get grumpy. You do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're annoying. <laughs> Vigilance, not being complacent and knowing your abilities and, and making sure that you stay in the areas that correspond with your level of experience. I like it. What's poor seamanship? I think the inability to um, take charge of your boat properly and to tell each crew member like what their role is. To have crew confused is like a sign that you're not a very good leader. Yep. Do I have um, spaghetti bolognese in my mustache? A little bit. Just give it a wiggle. What do, what do all of you guys think is a sign of poor seamanship? Halid slapping on the mast, fenders out. What do you think? Cheers. 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 <laughs>
like obviously there's a lot more going in, on in the world than just our personal freedom but that's how that's how i feel at the moment pretty uh, restricted considering we've been living on a boat and able to just go wherever we want it's pretty weird not being able to leave with the videos we've actually got to get like creative yeah. where normally we just sail and film yeah and that's that always takes first priority and yeah. where we're going and like making sure that we go at the right time and all that sort of stuff but now we're not sort of going anywhere so <laughs> we feel like we should try and do things a little bit more creatively and it's hard work yeah it's quite challenging making videos from a, a boat tied off to the, a dock when you can't explore land and but we'll survive we hope you guys are surviving as well Hooray. So we're making bacalao bras, which, which is? is a codfish with potato, a lot of potato. What are we Andre making? started a famine in Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> we have way too many potatoes for this dish, yeah. I think. It's perfect. He's claiming that these are going to shrink. But that's a lot of potato. Okay, so we've boiled the fish, now we've cut the potatoes. Now we need to fry them and then mix it up. We're about to mix that and that with the sauteed potatoes. You guys, there are otters in the marina. I just saw my first otter. It's really small and cute. It jumped up on the jetty and it jumped back in the water again. And I got so excited, Riley thought I was lying. So I really hope that I can get one on film for you. I probably won't, because I haven't seen it since. But I just saw an otter. It's my first otter ever. I've never seen one in my whole life. I think you ought to settle down a bit. I ought to settle down, very funny. What you got, Lenny? You got cheese. <laughs> Look how tired Lenny is. <laughs> Lenny, cheers. <laughs> full fat boy? Are you full fat boy? Hey, are you full? <laughs> you fool, fat boy! Oh, he just he just put the Mentos in the coat. Oh, Lenny! My God, it's like a bomb. It is a bit like a bomb.
your heart beats and feel Come and gain what you live for <laughs> G'day mate! How are you going? <laughs> Just popping up to say congratulations to Joshua Thompson Who's one of our oldest patrons and uh, he's been around for five years He's a hundred years old That's pretty, that's pretty <laughs> incredible Yeah, old as in lengthy time with SLV Yeah Anyway, thanks mate, we really appreciate it. You are a legend and uh, we'd really like to meet you after the pandemic situation has uh, stopped yep. being a pandemic situation. Let us know if you're like open to coming and visiting us. It's probably gonna be in the Azores, maybe the Canary Islands, um, but regardless, there's gonna be us, we're gonna be sailing, there's gonna be a group of people, you can bring a plus one, it's gonna be fun. Obviously, we do want to encourage uh, new people to sign up. So we're going to, uh, I think next week is going to be the big thing for yeah. the new people. So next week in the comment section, what we're going to do is have uh, all of our patrons write, well, anyone that would like to come along on the trip with us to write a, a little thing, probably a hundred words or less, and say why you want to do it. Now, our patrons get the videos a week early, which means that they will have some time to be able to prepare a little um, creative writing, you know, argumentative essay as to why they should come. And then it's very democratic of us. Yep. Uh, the most number of likes, it's open to the public. You just go along and like whatever ones that you think are the most compelling, the best uh, reason why. And they should sort of go to the top and pick the one with the most likes. That's next week. So if you'd like to be involved in that, you can head over to our Patreon and, and sign up and then you get the chance to go and go ahead and do that. But for now, congratulations, Joshua Thompson. And uh, yeah, it. let us know if you can come, mate.